And only on Five Tonight, as you just heard, there are all sorts of therapy and support animals nowadays. But have you ever heard of a support skunk? Well, I spoke with a Medford family who says the idea is nothing to turn your nose up at. Well, she means everything to me. Meet Minnie Monster. She's not just a pet skunk, she's a support skunk. But she didn't start out that way. Originally when I got her, it was more for me. <laughs> Tom Jackson quickly realized Monster had sniffed out a much stronger bond with his oldest son, Connors. <laughs> Connors has high-functioning autism. It affects how he handles his emotions, but Monster changed all that. He very quickly became attached to Monster and less angry. You know, the things that he won't talk to me about, I can catch him talking to Monster about. After watching the two together, Tom says it just made sense to get Monster certified as a support animal. I believe therapy pets are significantly overused, or at least the terminology is overused. But when you truly find that pet that truly is a therapy pet, it's obvious. And we really did. And you don't have to worry about Monster stinking up the joint. She's been descented, as is Oregon law, in order to keep a skunk as a house pet. You cannot buy or sell a skunk within the state of Oregon. You have to get them from outside the state of Oregon from a registered breeder. They have to either be tattooed similar to a ferret or be microchipped. You have to have a vet in some places in Oregon. That's actually quite difficult. But all the hoops they've jumped through to get their little monster <laughs> have been worth it. She's the best pet that I've ever had. <laughs>